Right. <laughs> Start again. I really thought... Here's my, my like, thought process, right? I thought that that was going to be, like, a, a special type of bomb. That was, like, a fire bomb or something like that. Turns out, no, it's just a live bomb. Some of them I absolutely love. Some of them I have the same issue with as you. I just think that... I've seen some that are great. Like, some video essays are amazing. Um, they're, um... They're great things, and, you know, I like what they say, and they're concise and nice. But some of them are about 45 minutes too long. Like, you know, I, I've seen a couple that are, like, 10 to 15 to 20 minutes, and they're great. And then some of them, I've been linked. And, uh, I know, there's there this YouTuber called The Renegade Cub, and somebody linked me that. It might have been my girlfriend. And she was like, um, you know, this it was about The Simpsons or something like that, and the politics of The Simpsons. And I was like, that's kind of interesting, because we're watching a lot of Simpsons. Um, so I watched it, and it was about 40 minutes long. And it took about... 20 minutes to get to any sort of point and then just spent the next 20 minutes repeating that same point over and over and over and over and over again. It felt like he hadn't written a script at all. Like, it felt like he was just rambling into the... It felt like he was doing what I was doing, really. <laughs> like, what I'm doing right now. And just sort of rambling inanely into a microphone and then, you know, editing it down into 40 minutes of just saying the same thing over and over and over again. And I hated it. Like, I couldn't stand it. And honestly, that one video slightly poisoned my my viewing of all video essays. Like, I'm always quite wary of watching them now. Actually, you know what? The one in the, um... If you want the worst example of that ever, I can link you that. <laughs> I can link you an article. <laughs> um... The, um... The one that got linked to me by names on the Discord about Napoleon was actually okay. I like that one. I think that was quite concise and nice. Like, it was like an hour long or something like that, but it actually, like, clipped along quite nicely and was well-paced, and it clearly had, like, a good script. Every third sentence is the same thing, just written slightly differently. That was it. It was basically, like, it was about the Frank Grimes episode of, uh, of The Simpsons, which is a classic, Homer's Enemy, which is a, a, a you know, eternal classic episode of The Simpsons. Um... And, but it was just, he had one thing to say, <laughs> like, he had one thing to say and it was just, you know, um, that over and over and over again. I got very tired of it. But then I found another one that was, uh, or I got linked to another one by my girlfriend that was, uh, about, like, John Carpenter movies. And it was great. It was by a channel called The Take, I think. And, uh, I think they used to have a different name, but it was called The Take. And, uh... Yeah, it was just like a really nice overview of um, of um, of John Carpenter movies, and I was like, "This is great." Ninja, I get the trolling, and I do find it funny, but also, uh, I am going to time out the word Minecraft <laughs> if you don't stop. <laughs> I can appreciate it up to a point, but like, you know, still. <laughs> Muted for 60 seconds. <laughs> yeah, that seems fair. 60 seconds is fine. I think my standard timeout on this channel is like 5 seconds or something like that. Which is usually enough to discourage people, actually, which is nice. Why not 69 seconds? That would be much funnier. And then if it's like really bad, 420 seconds. I don't know, just go all the like tired meme numbers. Oh god, please. This is the first floor. Don't die. Pay attention to the game slightly more than you are. Wait, is this the first floor? It is. Okay. I didn't even mention the item we picked up because I was talking. Uh, Mom's Eye is great. Mom's Eye is a fantastic item. And that's a fantastic item too. Okay, we're just going to go. We're not going to go on the alternate path this time. Shortened his sentence. <laughs> if you can't withstand Shad's rants, watch Lindy Beige. His rants are longer. <laughs> I know, I just, it takes a long, it takes a lot to get me to watch any YouTube video that is over about 10 minutes long. Which is, you know, probably why I should cut down my YouTube videos more, to be honest. Like, my YouTube videos are all like half an hour long. 
But um, I don't know. I should definitely cut it down. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's why it took me so long to watch that Napoleon video. Because it was, it, I was interested and it was good. I don't know why I made like a, a horrible noise at the start of that sentence. But um, you know, it was interesting and it was good, and I was, I, I was interested in it. But any, any time I see a YouTube video and it's over about 25 minutes long, I will almost never watch it. Unless it's something I've been following for a while, like a podcast or something. By the way, you should definitely watch the Napoleonic Marshall series by Epic History TV. I mean, again, I found it interesting, so I might. I'll put it on my watch later list at some point, at least. And, uh, you know, I can at least listen to it while editing. That's what I did with the with the last one. Um, I watched half of it while falling asleep. And the second half of it while, um, while editing that morning's videos. <laughs> I just stubbed my toe. Uh, <laughs> is there anything worse? It's actually why. This is maybe a slightly gross thing to give up. but um, Or to, to say. But I almost never wear shoes. And I virtually never wear socks when I'm in the house. Um, I, I'm almost always... Um, virtually at least always barefoot. Um, which really pisses off my girlfriend who doesn't like it. But... I'm, yeah, virtually always barefoot. But my I haven't cut my nails in about six months, probably. <laughs> they just seem to get, like, naturally filed down, almost. But I, I hate cutting my nails. Like, because of that. Because I feel like as soon as I cut my nails, all protection from stubbing my toe is gone. Because I never wear shoes. Um, and it is so much worse if you stub your toe. Um just after cutting your nails. It is a disaster. Like, it makes me want to die. <laughs> Who the hell wears shoes in the house? Uh, it's... I know that the... I, I, I was actually surprised to find out that that was not common in any other country in the world. Because <laughs> that's really common here. Um, it is... It is considered strange. Like, you know, it wouldn't be, like, weird and you talk about them behind your back or anything like that. But if somebody asked you to take off your shoes when you came into their house... You'd probably be like, all right, Mr. Fancy over here, <laughs> you know? Um, most people seem to wear shoes indoors here. I've stopped. Um, like, I used to do this as well, but uh, since then, I've, I've uh, since, you know, a few years ago, I stopped. Because I, it makes more sense not to, definitely. <laughs> like, I don't know why people do wear shoes indoors here. I literally just cut my nails before this. Oh, see, that just makes me feel upset. <laughs> like, I don't like it. Uh, the Marshall series is way better than any history Netflix series. From what I understand of historical Netflix series, that is not saying much, to be honest. Like, I've heard bad things about them. You know, I've, I've heard many, many rants from my girlfriend um, about historical inaccuracies in media. <laughs> I'm convinced that the Irish are just medieval farmers in a modern coat. I mean, I'm not going to disagree with you. I wouldn't maybe be that harsh about it, but yeah, honestly, kind of the same. Vikings is not a history series. I know, we do a lot of backward stuff, definitely. Wearing shoes is the least among them. It's fantasy trash. My brother liked Vikings, and I never watched it. I don't think I've really watched many Netflix original things. Or was that even Netflix? I actually can't remember. But, um... I don't know. Actually, what one... I think this was Netflix. Was this Netflix? Um... I can't remember who made this, but I watched The Terror. I think that's getting popular again recently. Like, I've seen articles about it, and I don't know why. But The Terror, season one of The Terror, is really good. Well, I didn't like the ending very much, but I really liked it. I thought it was great. And that's loosely... It's sort of a fictionalized version of a historical thing that happened. Where this uh, icebreaker ship tried to cross the Arctic in... God, when was it? Like the 18th century? 19th century? Um, and they never heard from it again. <laughs> they uh, Just this giant ship called the Terror and another ship, like a sister ship, just went off through the Arctic and then nobody ever saw them again and nobody really knows what happened to the ship and then I think they found the ship later but everybody was dead like literally every person was gone or dead and they don't know why um 
It's a, uh, you know, it's a cool story. But they turned it into a, like, pseudo-horror series, which is very cool. It isn't trash, it's fun as hell, it's just not at all accurate. There were no Renaissance Marian helmets in the early Viking, Viking periods. He's not reading my comments, so I'm reading them. I know. I, I feel... I don't know. I could enjoy those things because I am so ignorant of history that I wouldn't know... Like, you know, that I, I mentioned this on stream when um when I watched um, Joan of Arc, the, the 1928 movie? I think it was 28. Um, and my girlfriend was sitting beside me, and we were like, this is fun. Like, it's... It's very dated, obviously now, but it's a good movie, and it's it's all based on historical records of the th of the stuff. Um, you know, it's 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 all based on like actual historical records of Joan of Arc's trial at the the hands of the English supporting French and stuff like that. Um, so it's like all the dialogue is, or you know, title cards or or actual lines, so it's fine. But um, my girlfriend then like sat up and was like, "Oh, that's that's taken me right out of it. That's completely wrong." And she pointed out like the helmets on the French guards or the English guards, I should say, were completely inaccurate. Like they were, they were from about two hundred years after, you know, the late medieval period when Joan of Arc was around. And I was like, "I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> like that looks fine. It just looks like a helmet." And she was like, "You could not be more wrong." And then I looked it up and she was right. But I feel like because I'm so ignorant, that stuff doesn't bother me, so I can enjoy them more. The time is just so different. It's like if you made a movie where there were cars around when Henry VIII was there. From what I know of the Tudors, that's not that far off, to be honest. Like the, the show, the Tudors. Your girlfriend sounds like a keeper. <laughs> um... Like, my girlfriend watched, like, constantly complains about- I've never seen the Tudors. It was, uh, I think it was BBC. But, um, I've never seen the Tudors, but I know exactly what happens and exactly what the problems with it were, again, because of rants that I've had to listen to. I know, I've never really been interested in reading about any of the monarchy in England. There's a lot of stuff about them. Like, um... You know, like, every other show, every other historical show seems to be about the royals. Like, even right now, there's, like, a contemporary history show called The Crown that's on and very popular, which is all about the royals and Queen Elizabeth II and stuff like that. And I just couldn't care any less. Like, even, like, when, when Irish people or people that aren't English watch shows about the English royals, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, who could possibly care about this? It's like Diana. It's like, you know, it got popular because, like, Di you know, oh my god, they're they're showing Diana. It's like, who cares about Diana? <laughs> like, who could possibly care? It's just another, like, spoiled rich royal. Like, she was born into an aristocratic family and then did the, like, Marie Antoinette thing where she, like, played at being a commoner, which is always kind of gross to me. Like, I didn't even really know about this until recently, that, um, Princess Diana... She, despite being born in, into ar aristocracy and being born incredibly wealthy, she was put into, like, she would, like, rented out a flat with, like, seven other people and worked as a maid just to, like, you know, experience it. Which just feels quite kind of insulting, honestly. It does feel like the... Was it Mar Marie Antoinette who pretended to be a milkmaid in her back garden? And was like, oh, it's all so nice and I love being a milkmaid. I love being a peasant. Meanwhile, and then she just goes back to her, like, silk bed. <laughs> I know, I don't get the- I don't get the love for the royals. <laughs> oh god, please. I don't know how much health I have. This is a weird version of the haunt, by the way. A very strange version of the haunt. Okay, I'm liking that it seems like my little familiar here can bounce into them and freeze them. That's pretty cool. And also it seems better than I remember them being. Okay, please heal me. Oh, I can't. Never mind. Uh, yeah, give me health. I'll take the health. The Age of Samurai Fight for Japan is a horrible, horrible, horrible docu-series. It's a docu-series and yet it's so inaccurate. I think that's probably pretty common. The Crown asked for help making his historically accurate from within the royal house but they declined so they just had to come up with stuff themselves and then the royal house got mad i did read those headlines those were hilarious 
Um, like, the fact that they got so angry at it, and it's like, this isn't how we are at all. It's like, who cares? Like, go away. <laughs> Like, anything that makes the royals angry is worth it, I think. You know, it's like, uh, people post, like, uh, that, they gave that statement where it was like, the royal family has never been racist. And, uh, then people kept posting that image of Prince William sitting on that, like, uh, palanquin chair being carried by that tribe, that tribe of black people. It's like, oh. I, I don't even know the context for that picture, but it's not a great look. They edit out all of the actual good stuff that historians are saying and put it in weeby, put in the weeby sayings. I feel like that that would be a huge, huge risk of um. Um, I feel like that would be a huge risk in terms of like Japanese history documentaries. Is people being unnecessarily weeby about it. There's that, there's a really weird culture around white people obsessing over Japan. Like, you know, Japan seems fine. I intend to go there at some point. Japan seems cool. But, um, you know, I don't get being so obsessed with it and making your whole identity about Japan. And I know people who have, like, it's invariably people who are into Linux and programming as well. Like, they, they're they always the ones that you go into their house and they have a body pillow propped up in the corner. Like, it's invariable. It's, you know, it's it's always there. You can always see the signs. I love Japan, but those people suck. Yeah. It's like, you know, I like parts of Japan. I like the Japanese language a lot. You know, if I were to learn another language, I'd probably learn Japan first. Learn Japan, my god. <laughs> I'd learn Japanese. Apparently it's quite difficult. Or at least I've heard that anecdotally, that learning Japanese is kind of difficult. Especially if you're... If you come from, like, you know, English, which is like a Germanic language, and uses the Latin alphabet. Having to learn, like, a whole new alphabet seems like it would suck. It's why, like, I, I would never consider learning Russian or something like that, because you'd have to learn Cyrillic as well. It's just like an extra layer of annoyance. What is this, by the way? It's some sort of bean. I have no idea what this is. Kidney bean. Oh, they've just redone the sprite. I keep forgetting that English is a Germanic language. I know, well, it borrows so much from the Romance languages as well that people kind of assume it's a Romance language sometimes. But yeah, it's it's Germanic. Like, if you've ever tried to read Old English, it's a nightmare. <laughs> like, you know going, you know, we did very briefly, uh, like, you know, stuff like, uh, oh, what's it called? Beowulf? Beowulf? However you pronounce it. We did some of that in, uh, in school. And they, um, they, you know, you, you, you go from modern English, which is obviously what we speak, and it's perfectly understandable, and then you go to middle English, which some people have trouble with, but, you know, Shakespearean stuff. Um, you know, Middle English is fine. It's you, it's recognizable and it, it's English. And then you go back to Old English, and it's basically just like a mix between like Nordic and German. <laughs> like it's apparently if you, I, I I was about to say this in chat. I've read Old English as a Dutch person. It's surprisingly easy to read. Apparently, if you're Finnish or German or Dutch, it's it's relatively easy to read. But if you're actually English or you know an Anglophone, it's it's virtually impossible. <laughs> Like, it's, it's un unrecognizable as English. It's, a, it's interesting that it changed so much. Because even Middle English is not recognizable uh, as, you know, when you're comparing it to Old English. I think people, you know, refer to Middle English as Old English sometimes. Which is the problem. Yeah, I should be using the creep a little bit more. Because we have some of it. I don't know why I have red creep behind me as well. That's a little bit disturbing. The language went more from Saxon to Anglo. I'll stop my rant. <laughs> oh, uh, they didn't show the meeting with the Dutch about the gunpowder guns. It was such an interesting part about the story and they just left it out. Yeah, I will say I know nothing about the Dutch. <laughs> I, I keep mentioning this, but I know nothing about the Dutch.
Uh, I don't really know the difference between Anglos and Saxons either. I assume they were just different tribes, right? My girlfriend got a book about, um, well, there's two different ways of pronouncing this name, Boudica or Bodicea. But, um, yeah, my, my girlfriend has been reading up on her recently. She got a book on her. Um, I didn't realize that she was, uh, I didn't realize that the Romans were in Britain for so long, first of all. Like, apparently the Romans were in Britain, were, like, on British territory for 400 years. Like, I assumed it was, like, 50. Or, like, 25 or something ridiculous like that. 40, 400 years is a long time. I guess that's why you can find so many, like, relics and stuff, but it just never occurred to me. Yeah, apparently, uh, Bodicea, I didn't really know much about her. Apparently, really bloodthirsty ter terrorist, <laughs> basically. Like... She, uh, she slaughtered a lot of villages. Even of her own, like, you know, people. Um, like, non-Romans who were just, like, fine with the Romans being there. She would just come in and slaughter them. I didn't realize they were so incredibly bloodthirsty. Uh, they were, there were two to three walls built by two emperors just to top, stop the Scottish. That I do know. I know the whole Scottish thing. But I thought that was over, like, an, an extremely small amount of time. The Empire was there were 400, the people remained there longer. On maps about the tribes, the whole English part isn't counted because that's 95% Roman. Oh my god. Yeah, see, I'm just very ignorant about this. Which makes it even more surprising that they just never bothered coming to Ireland, really. I mean, it's right there, you can swim there. Like, you know, there are parts of, of Britain, especially Scotland, but in parts of England too, where you can just swim to Ireland. <laughs> like, you know, Liverpool to Ireland is like a probably like a three hour swim you know it's not that bad so it's, it's surprising that they just never came here if they wanted Scotland and you know the whole thing was about them being at war with Scotland or you know what was it the Picts were, it, were the Picts Scottish P-I-C-T I actually don't know but anyway you know if they wanted to take over Scotland like Ireland is not that much different of a climate but apparently they just came here in winter and went no nah, this sucks let's leave by the way, you should definitely watch the Marshall series. They rank all the Marshalls from worst to best. So I wouldn't have any context for that. Like, I don't have an opinion in my head about who's the best Marshall. Okay, uh, moving on. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? It, it actually feels nice to be back on a floor where I know what's going on. I know we're not seeing anything hugely new here. In fact, I don't think we have any new items yet. But, um, you know, I, I feel like I'm back on my feet a little bit. The first few eps are not great, uh, but later on they get much better. A bit like my stream. <laughs> I went back and, uh,. So I'm like sort of passively in the background editing together a video of like a Minecraft dance. And I went back and watched like the first, you know, a few minutes of the first Minecraft video from the first stream. And oh my. <laughs> like my, I, I don't, I didn't realize my mic quality was so bad. Like my microphone right now is not amazing. It's quite cheap. Oh, that's interesting. They're, they're charging up my item. Should I have let them hit me? I don't think I was taking any damage. I think they were just charging my item. Uh, well, whatever. But yeah, um, I didn't realize how bad my microphone was. Like, anybody who watched that early on, uh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> like, not only was it awkward and weird, but uh, my microphone quality was very bad. Like, I I'm using a 40 euro microphone right now. But through OBS, it sort of sounds alright. But I hadn't gotten it yet. <laughs> I know, I, I do sort of judge people who watch me that early on a little bit. Because it's like, why would you... There were better things to do in your life. <laughs> like, even now, I um, I sent the first step in, in Discord. I will check it out then. I'll put it in my watch later at the very least. But, um, yeah, like, I, even now, like, there's probably something better you have to do, right? <laughs> like, you probably have some, like, studying or some, like, work to be getting on with. <laughs> I don't know. I guess as long as I'm background no noise, it's fine. The judgment is fair, I had nothing going on. <laughs>
don't know, that's kind of the only reason I watch streams too, to be honest. Okay, just keep this little buddy firing and keep those tears on him. Uh, I kind of hate this boss fight. I always have. But with one, it's fine. Just, you know, this is okay. Ninja's gone quiet. I may have timed him out for like 600 seconds. <laughs> I say him. That's a bad habit. It could be. It could not be a him. I tried to use more uh, neutral uh, pronouns recently for the past couple of years, but I do slip up a lot. I I do have a bad habit of assuming that everybody in the internet is male. Now, seventy or eighty percent of the time, that is correct. <laughs> like um, most people on the internet, or at least on gaming-related things on the internet, seem to be men. In fact, I think I looked briefly at my analytics for, like, my YouTube and Twitch, and it was something like 97% of my audience is male. <laughs> Across VODs and YouTube and stuff like that. So, you know, it's not it's not the worst assumption to have in the world, I guess. Especially Fortnite. <laughs> I always call someone they, them until they tell me their gender. I've been trying to, yes. That's, uh, that's something I've been consciously trying to do. Just because I think it's, you know, like some very, very basic manners, honestly. Is this a new floor? No, it's not. It's just, everything looks slightly new. I keep thinking I'm on a new floor. Like, um, you know, like a DLC floor. Okay, please stop walking over the creep. You're annoying me. I don't know, does everybody still hate Fortnite players? Like, is Fortnite still considered... Have we had the Fortnite renaissance yet? Where everybody comes to respect Fortnite, like what happened with Minecraft? Because this exact same thing happened with Minecraft. And I don't have an opinion on if it's, like, as good as Minecraft or anything, but, um... The exact... Like, there was a period where you could not put out Minecraft content in, like, the mid-2000s, mid I should say. Like, 2015-16. Where, like, um... You know, in Minecraft was, for a while, everybody who grew up playing Minecraft was like, I hate Minecraft now. Minecraft's for babies. Um, only only children play Minecraft. And that had the result of everybody uh, who made Fortnite content, or Fortnite content, everybody who played Minecraft was like, we're going to gear our channel to, to children now. Uh, even when it really didn't work and they were naturally not, not that kind of channel. I've been trying to do that for years, even before the whole gender identity thing became more of a thing online. I had a trans friend from the age of 13. That's, yeah, again, just very polite then. <laughs> I actually, I, do I even know any trans people? I mean, there's not many of them. <laughs> like, people do, uh, people do tend to, you know, turfs and weird people do tend to make it out like trans people are coming for the gays and, you know, coming for your children and there's there's millions of them and they're like a little army online. There's like, there's, there's, there's very few of them. There's so few of them. Oh god, please. Oh god, please. 70% of my friends are queer. <laughs> I think... I know like three... two or three people who are... Who are. Uh, although I know almost nobody, so that's not really a good sample size. I know about... I probably know in total about 20 people. <laughs> I'm just... I'm... I'm I, I make jokes about it and I, I, like, make light of it. I am genuinely quite antisocial. Like, I know almost no people. Um, in fact, like, you know, if you count people I know through the stream, that it's, it's pretty much, like, doubled my, my like, social circle. <laughs> Like, I don't see... I, I remember getting told I was very strange for this, but I don't really enjoy or have any desire to seek out friends. Like, um... I remember being told that I sounded a little bit like a psychopath when I said this, which is very rude. But, um... I, um... I don't... I, I don't really want any more friends. <laughs> like, um... I don't really... I enjoy spending time with friends that I already have, but I have never once felt the inclination to, like form a new friendship it's it's always just sort of happened and again i'm always like oh cool i have another friend but um 
I've never been like, man, I need to get some new friends or gone out and tried to meet some friends. It just, it just feels like a completely alien concept from me. Like, why would I ever bother? <laughs> oh, please re resurrect me. Okay, we did. Lovely. That's why you get the ank. Or the ank. Ank? Ank? Something like that. <laughs> Hydrate for 100 channel points? I will. It has been probably like an hour and a half since I've last had something to drink. There we go. Oh, that water. I've realized. <clears throat> I've realized something about that water. Um, that is the same water that I left out for myself last night, and it's gone a little bit stagnant. I should probably replace that. Alright. This is good because we were so low on damage. I don't think we need anything else, really. It's Ankh, yeah. I don't know, I'm really bad at recognizing uh, vowels with accents over them from other languages. Like, I vaguely... I assume it's the same in French. In Dutch. Although maybe that's ignorant. Oh, I was about to say it. Like, I've been talking about Irish music a lot recently. Um, or, like, bands that I like from Ireland that, you know, I've kind of recently discovered. I, uh, I, I realized I had never asked about, like, are there any actual, like, famous Dutch musicians? Because <laughs> I know... I only know of one. I am a fan of a guy called... I'm gonna die, by the way. I am a fan of a Dutch musician called Spinvis. I have no idea if that's how you pronounce the name. It's literally the words spin and then B-I-S. Um, and I really like it. And I, I really like that, that guy. Or at least a couple of his albums, the ones I have. Um...